So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. We're going to be comparing UFL and goals. Why? Because, well, we've got a little bit more information. I'm going to show you guys, obviously, the gameplay. Uh, and some people might be curious, right? Obviously, I've been covering UFL. I've been covering goals every now and then. Different styles, definitely, I would say. Uh, but we're going to look at them, talk about them. Let me know your thoughts below, as always. Uh, and also, good news, folks. I am going to start a series very soon, possibly this week, because I'm sick and tired of not putting anything out. And actually, the other night, I was playing Pez on the PS5, you know, going back, trying the old school ways, and quite enjoyed it. And I think now I've had a break from playing Pez. I wouldn't mind going back and playing it because eFootball is just too samey. Everyone's using the same players and it's boring. So that's what we're going to do. So good news. We are going to be back with a Master League, probably something. I don't know, uh, but we're going to get back to it. So there we go. All right, let's dive into this. So let's talk about goals. First of all, we have some actual gameplay of a match. I mean, it's a very quick video, but we're going to go through it. Um, but look, the whole premise purpose of goals is, I mean, this is what they're stating, okay? Goals is our attempt to give football the game it deserves. Gameplay first, free to play, cross play, multiplayer focused, uh, and esports ready. So this is why UFL and goals are very, very similar. They're both free to play. They're both multiplayer focused to start with anyway. Uh, they're going for the whole cross play thing as well. So that's why they're similar in that regard. Now, regarding gameplay, uh, I wouldn't say they're very similar at all. UFL, I'd say, is a lot further ahead right now than Goals is. Okay, so take note of that. And, and as I said, let me know in the comments if you would actually want to play this. Because remember, we're the ones who's got to try it. And, you know, I like to do these videos to keep you guys in the loop. But also, you know, the developers. They might look at these videos and go, okay, the comment section is not liking the look of this. Maybe we need to change this, that, and the other. Um, you know, social media, videos, getting the community involved nowadays is, is key. And if you're doing a free-to-play game, you've got to listen um, to your fan base, to be honest. Otherwise, it's disaster. So one thing I wanted to mention very quickly. Now, they're talking about these card designs and let me know what you think. And just going by the look of these, the way they are, it's very Fortnite-esque, isn't it? Um, you know, they've got massive uh, stat right there, 79. Then they've got their overalls around here, their age, the name, what position they're playing in. I presume that's the foot they're using as well. They're predominantly right-footed. But this looks very much like Fortnite. And I know card designs is is the thing now, isn't it? You've got them in FIFA, of course. Ultimate Team started it, pretty much. Uh, eFootball's gone that way. Goals is going to be the similar as well. Uh, there's a few images of some of the character designs. I mean, it's cool if that's the style you like. Personally, for myself, is this something that would interest me? No, because I'm coming from Pez. I'm coming from playing... Well, PES 21, PES 20 was the best simulation football game you could honestly find. It really is. And it still is to this day, to be fair. Uh, there's a quick message here from the CEO. Uh, and as we scroll down, there's an article. Oh, yeah. So they have secured 20 million. Let's go over this very, very quickly. Um, so they've secured 20 million to give football esports the game it deserves. So basically what happened here is they snapped up. Uh, they announced its latest round of financing uh, for its self-titled football game. It was led by Reddit founder Alex, uh, Alexis Awanen's yeah, venture capital firm. Uh, and pretty much, yeah, they've got a bunch of money coming in. There was mention of like Serie A as well for something. Can't remember. But yeah, they've got some money coming in. So there you go. Some funding, which is good. You know, you need some funding for some games. Of course, of course. Uh, and as we scroll down, this is where we're going to see... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Found it. Uh, 20 million City at our funding. So there you go. So they've got an investment. People are interested, obviously. Right, here we go. This is what we're going to talk about now. Is a little bit of the old gameplay, right? Now remember, folks. Yes, this is like pre-pre-alpha. Very, very, you know, early build. Uh, but they have gone from the arena to this. So there's a bit of progression there, as you can see. Well, you would expect some progression. Otherwise, you'd be going backwards. Um, but yeah, this is this is what they're looking at. And this is what 
they're going for. Um, I mean, the Nets look good. <laughs> but to me, this is just, this is pure arcade. I don't really see how they're going to develop this. If they are going to turn this into a sim, how is this possibly going to turn into a sim style football game? You know, this to me is something you'd probably find on the Wii, you know, back in the old days. So, yeah, this is what they mentioned, where we released a super early and often, uh, we well, we release super early and often uh, to get feedback so we can iterate, so we can iterate it fast. Uh, in September, we launched the first version of single player. In February, we launched the first version of multiplayer. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, we will launch the first version of a new game mode called Go. But there it is. What do you guys make of it? And as you can see, the cards at the bottom there, I'm not going to hover over it because you can't see it yourself. Uh, but it shows you the cards of the players and all the little you know, stats they have and everything else in the bottom corners. Um, and as you scroll down, though, uh, there was something... No, it was on this video, actually. I'm going to go to this video because this was an interesting comment. And I don't know. I know this guy, Andreas Thorstensten, isn't, isn't primarily English, so it's not his predominant language, right? But this is what this guy said. In his final form with the game will be more arcade style or simulation style. And he did state, based on what you can see in the clip, I'd say more simulation. I mean, to me, there is nothing, there is nothing simulation-esque about this clip. It's very fast and it looks more like an arcade game. I mean, it just does. The pitch is very small. Um... So yeah, I don't really know what he meant by that. But he did say since most art uh, like characters, environment, animations, etc. are early or pure placeholders. Also, game mechanics wise, we don't have any movement penalties, stamina, etc. Uh, but we are not building a hyper realistic game. So that's kind of a double edged sword there, isn't it? I don't get it. We're basing it more in simulation, but we're not building a hyper realistic game. Um, so yeah, I would generally say this is going to be an arcade football game, folks. That's what I'm getting from everything that I've seen. There is a few more replies. Uh, this guy did say it seems more arcade than Sim. Don't take my feedback as a critique. I know it's super early, but it seems there's a lot to fix to reproduce real player moves. Um, and this one did stay. It reminds me of FIFA on the Wii. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. To me, this is this is a purely an arcade game. It's not going to interest me personally. Hopefully, there'll be people out there that can play it. I mean, I don't want any company to fail. I mean, sure, get a game going and build it. Remember, these are brand new companies with brand new games, new mechanics, everything else. So it's going to take a lot of time to get them, I'm sure, where they want to be. But let me know what you make of this. Just wanted to put it out there um, because we're going to go from this now to the UFL, folks. Okay, so UFL, obviously taking a different kind of approach. Um, and you can tell that from the look of it. You know what I mean? You look at that and then you look at um, that. I know one's pre-alpha and one's basically alpha, right? But there is a massive difference there. Leaps and bounds uh, between the two. Uh, and then we also just... There was a few clips. A few clips here as well to take a look at. Not these ones. I'm actually probably going to zoom out a little bit. Um, but yeah, they were showing a couple of like, snippets here of the cutscenes. So as you can see, they're developing these as well. All the in-game footage, by the way, is all facial images are fictitious. Remember that, um, due to legal reasons. But, you know, UFL are adding cutscenes. They're making it feel like more of a football game. So that's the approach they're going for. And it's good to see. You know, he's even got the, he's even got the hairspray, the can of hairsprays there. Uh, as we scroll down a little bit further, there was another clip right here of a little bit of football being played. Uh, and the curling animation just going uh, a little bit wide. Now, the final thing we'll go over is this video right here. So, hello, Alf. There goes the tail. Um, there's some more snippets of gameplay here. Showcasing. Well, that was interesting. They were kind of showcasing the, the free kicks. So that's kind of how the free kicks are going to look. As I say, this game is on my radar. 100% is on my radar. I know there's no offline, and that's the difference between me and a lot of other people. I'm an offline guy. I like the Master Leagues, the career mode, as long as the gameplay is enjoyable. But I know UFL is going to be primarily online to start with. But to be honest with you, I've been playing eFootball, haven't I? Which is purely online. And there's no real progression on eFootball. This game does seem like it has a very you know, well-built UI. 
uh, and hopefully there's a lot of rewards and perks and stuff for you to play online with so yeah it's definitely on my radar uh, and there are you know a couple of snippets of gameplay once again that we'll we'll get to we've seen the gameplay of this game right it, it hasn't changed a whole lot since before uh, but I still wanted to cover it, talk about it. I think they've got a new journey coming out Wednesday, tomorrow, actually. So we'll see what that brings. Um, but it's definitely improving. I mean, 100% this game has gone from bare, bare, bare bones to something that, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to keep an eye out and see how it plays out. Um, let's see. We could talk about some of the stuff they're talking about here. Let's Let's read some of these captions for you guys as well. Um, so here we are at the workstation of this dude. All right, he's going to talk a little bit about the game. So because the developers are usually reluctant to share any raw materials with me, he says, um, passes. Let's talk about the passing system, folks. Okay, so the basics. So what type of passes are there besides the simple two meter pass? I don't know how good these captions are, by the way. Um, if we start listening, we won't finish them. There are many of them, but they're all kind of contextual, some of them as well. He says he's got at least five. So he's got the low pass, the high pass, you got the through pass that we all know. And everything else is a variation of the passes. So it's a powerful pass, a strong one, a high one, there's a throw ball. Um, yeah, probably like a stunning cross and a stunning pass, kind of like in eFootball. Uh, how does the game understand the difference between the two? Well, there's no secret here. We check the general uh, direction and see where the football is moving or what angle the user moves their D-pad. What type of passes are mostly dependent on a footballer's skills or, or what are individual footballer's skills? I mean, anyone can give a simple two-meter pass and that's why it depends on the difficulty of the pass. And also, for instance, how difficult it is to receive the ball. I'm just reading this. Bear with me. Everything is like in real football. The more technical the pass is the more demanding it is of the personal skills of the footballer. Mm. Uh, how do you implement passes in terms of animation physics? Uh, do you also use mocap like the other teams? Of course, and after that we measure certain degrees and height of the pass. Uh, we count centimeters, roughly speaking, a pass at one height or another, a chest pass, a header with a foot, a one touch, a strong or low. Uh, what type of tackles are there? It's good information though, I like this, they're telling us. Keeping us in the loop. Everything that exists in real life, you also have in UFL. You've got the active tackle when you put your foot in and take the ball, obviously. Nice finish there. You've got the passive when you just run to the ball, collect it and go. There's sliding tackles as well, obviously. Basically everything and anything. Uh, being a game designer, I wanted to tell more about it, but I won't reveal my secrets yet. So there's a little bit of a, an insight, and it would be nice to Konami to tell you this stuff, right? I mean, this is why this game is definitely, as I keep mentioning, on the radar. If they're going to use real-life type of metrics and physics um, one day, I mean, I don't think it's going to be that physic-wise heavy, you know, phenomenal physics uh, when it comes out. I mean, give it some time, and you tweak it, and you give them more feedback. That's when we can go in there and, and see the game probably develop more and more. But yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. I do. Let me know your thoughts. That's pretty much it for today, comparing the two games. But this is it right here. Goals is going more in a Fortnite arcade style, 100%. UFL is going to be the more sim type approach. Um, still arcade elements, of course. But I do think it, when they launch this game, I think how the community reacts is going to dictate how this plays out right if if a lot of people play it and they're like this is good but it's a bit fast we want it a little bit slower then they'll tweak it and if people are fine with it then they'll probably leave it alone but i'm looking forward to seeing what they can do there's certainly a, a company that seems to know about football which is nice they're in europe so obviously they are i'm sorry if they're in america developing this game uh, not against anything against americans but you know it's like american football fine but actual football yeah, Europe generally has a better premise on the game. So anyway, that's it for today, folks. Let me know your comments below. We will be back. Content will be flowing again very, very shortly. I'm going to get back into it. I've had a rest and it's time to get back to Pez. So we're probably just going to start a career, start a Master League and just do it. Do the business. But anyway, until next time, let me know your thoughts and take care.